So far, all the videos that have used variables have used the assignment statement. This time, in a program that I've called Inputs, we're going to use the input statement for interactivity. We're going to write a program that will accept inputs from the user as the program is running. This will make sure that our program could run differently every time as it's going to respond to the input from the user. All right, we need an input statement. Let's put one in here. And when you specify the dialog box for an input statement, you've got two items that you have to specify. First of all, you have to specify the variable name that you're going to be setting. So in this respect, it's like an assignment statement. But you also have to specify a proper prompt to tell the user what to do. So in this case, uh, I suppose, uh, what is your name would be a good prompt because we're going to capture the user's name from the keyboard. Let's add yet another input. And in this one, we'll ask the user to enter his or her age. So we'll call that age. And an appropriate prompt for that might be, how old are you? Now, you might want to specify how you want that to be input. Because somebody could type in their TEN or the digits 10 if they were 10 years old. So let's, let's specify digits only. That's an important part of your inputs. You must let the user know what's expected of them. Okay, now we want one more thing to test this to see how this works. We'll uh, specify an, an output, and in our output, we'll um, try to uh, output both variables. And we'll uh, try it like this. We'll try user name concatenate. The word is, now I have to surround that with spaces, otherwise it's going to jam up in the output. And then I want my variable age, concatenation operators on both sides of that. And then I'm going to finish with the string years old. Okay, that's, that's an important one. Notice that we have plus signs between the items. We have a string, oh, pardon me, we have a variable, a string, a variable, and a string. So we have to separate those four items with three different concatenation operators. Let's give it a try. Now, when that program runs, you're going to get a pop-up window. That's the input. That's, as you can see here, the input is running at this point, And you can see the prompt that we specified. Well, I'm going to enter my name. Now it goes on to the next input. So we have another pop-up. And I'm going to enter my name, uh, or my age, using digits only as requested. And there's the output. You can see that our concatenation looked like it worked properly. You can also see that we are the values that we have in, in memory here uh, for our two variables, age 39, username Brad. So that's our first look at the input statement. It's a way of making your program interactive. And of course, the best part about this is it'll run differently every time. I'm going to run it one more time quickly. We'll run it again, only this time. I can try something completely different. I'll try a name of, uh, say, Mary. And maybe Mary is uh, 20 years old. So I get completely different output, completely different values in memory. That's the value of an interactive program as compared to a program that's uh, more boilerplate, if you like, that uses the assignment symbol. Interactive programs use the input statement.